This is Mission Control Houston. Welcome today to the International Space Station Flight Control Room where the team of uh, experts is watching over the systems for the International Space Station as the crew aboard the uh, station, Expedition 31 Commander Oleg Kononenko and his fellow uh, Russians uh, Gennady Padalka and Sergei Revin, along with uh, NASA astronauts Don Pettit and Joe Acaba and European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers are uh, midway through their day, a very busy day today of uh, preparations for the departure of the uh, Dragon commercial spacecraft from the Earth-facing port of the Harmony Mode tomorrow. The crew has been working to uh, close out hatches that occurred about two hours ago. Uh, and uh, we're getting some live downlink television as uh, Don Pettit prepares to put the center cover over the hatchway. Uh, they've just completed the installation of the controller panel assemblies. Uh, you can see those four square boxes around the edges of the hatchway. Those are used to uh, uh, control the uh, 16 bolts that uh, drive in to provide a snug fit between visiting spacecraft and the space station's uh, hatches. And all that installation went very well, and now he's doing the final installations of the uh, hatch cover. Uh, they're going to leave one power cable co connected overnight and then do some final checkouts of the bolts and uh, uh, latches tomorrow before we do the unberthing. Uh, those activities are nominal for the release. Uh, of course, uh, the crew also doing a lot of science work on, uh, on the space station today, uh, working with several different Russian experiments, looking uh, at uh, the Earth below and and how uh, materials behave uh, in space. Uh, they also are working with the uh, viable experiment. That's something that is being done by uh, Andre Kuipers. Uh, that's uh, a name for the process of relaxation in the ultraband spectrum by high velocity interaction of exhaust products. And that's the Relax Sky experiment, one of the ones that the Russian experiments are working on. Uh, they're also going to be working on, uh, as mentioned, the viable experiment. Uh, that viable experiment uh, stands for the evaluation and monitoring of microbiofilms inside the International Space Station. Uh, and it uh, essentially looks at how microbes, uh, films uh, develop on general surfaces, uh, both metallic and uh, uh, fabric inside the space station so that they can look for good ways to protect against a runaway growth of any of those. Uh, overall, a very good uh, day for the International Space Station crew. They'll be uh, knocking off work and uh, trying to shift their ske schedule uh, two hours earlier to get ready for tomorrow's departure activities for Dragon. Uh, the uh, release of the uh, Dragon spacecraft from the robotic arm is scheduled for 4.35 a.m. Central Time. There will be no need for uh, the use of the LIDARs or uh, uh, thermal imagers as it departs, but there may be some testing uh, as they depart as uh, the opportunity rises. Uh, we'll have Dragon uh, departure coverage starting at 1.30 a.m. Central Time. Uh, unberthing is scheduled for 3.05 a.m. Central Time, and then the release of Dragon is scheduled for 4.35 a.m. Central Time. There are going to be several deorbit uh, uh, departure and deorbit burns uh, that will be following uh, up on the... Uh, uh, Dragon departure, uh, and uh, those all will be taking place uh, uh, sometime uh, in the early morning time frame for us here in Houston. But all systems go on the International Space Station as the crew is getting ready to uh, see the departure of the first commercial uh, space flight uh, uh, to the International Space Station. Uh, the uh, station uh, visiting vehicle Dragon is uh, packed full of return items, uh, experiment samples, and uh, items that are going to be refurbished for uh, future use uh, on board the space station. Uh, and the crew is uh, well in hand with the procedures to uh, be get ready for that departure tomorrow.